Hello, this is Eddie from Real Gamers TV, and today I'm starting my new series named and Shamed. This isn't only going to be a Modern Warfare 2 thing, it's going to be from other games as well. People who just make the gaming experience a lot harder. Okay, so here I joined a random free for all match, and it seems someone had a lag switch. Nowadays, Modern Warfare 2 is getting more glitched out by the day, so as soon as I saw the lag switch in action, I just had to start capturing it. So I didn't capture it from the beginning of the whole thing, but as you can see, I had 15 deaths and no kills. There was no way I was going to get a kill with this amount of lag. The game was running at what? Like 15 frames per second? It's meant to be running at 50. So basically, what I was trying to do is basically, I was just gonna, trying to figure out who it was who was using the lag switch. It didn't take me that long to find out who it was because this person had the most kills and every time I watched the kill cams he seemed to be killing me. And look I got one kill. I wasn't even shooting at him. I was shooting thin air. That's how bad the lag was in this match. Most of my 15 deaths were cool because I was using my sniper and there was no way I was sniping anyone with this amount of lag. I mean it's just I died. I, I didn't even die. I was still shooting him and then it brings the kill cam here. And how hard is it to go through a door? It's very hard when you, there's a lag switch in action. Just a simple door just keeps lagging me past it. And as you can see it's definitely a lag switch as everyone's connections is on at least three bars. And there's the guy who I thought was using the lag switch. He seems to be having quite a good time camping up the roof and getting easy kills. There's no way he could have been getting as easy kills without using the lag switch. And I tried to shoot the thin air as that was seemed to be my most successful technique in this game since shooting people directly didn't seem to do anything. It seems that even shooting not at them didn't work either. So right here you can't hear me but I put my headset in at this moment and I told them that I had captured a match and it was going on YouTube. So basically I was waiting to see who was going to run out after I said that. Two people left. But basically I was waiting for that top guy because he looked kind of dodgy with that amount of kills you cannot do with that amount of lag. So I was waiting for him. And just as I expected he left and that's when I hit into action. Okay, so his username is sickpits87. So I sent him a message first just to confirm if it was him or not. And basically, you, most of the time you know someone if they don't answer you. And he didn't answer me. I sent him a message here just to see if he has a lag switch. Just a simple message. I didn't even say he had one. I just said, do you have a lag switch? I know it's very obvious that no one's gonna really say they do, so that's the reason why I asked the question anyway. So later on, on Named and Shamed, I'm gonna be putting on some more people, some boosters maybe, some care package glitches, but you can just tell me, like, who, what type of people you want me to put on this name then shame system you can put on some campers whatever yeah so anyway I joined this match and I just played a little bit of it just to see if the lag had changed because it might have not been him in it it could have been someone else but so far the match seemed to be one in at 50 frames per second rather than 15 and as you can see the match was fine so basically just stayed in the match for some time just to see if he was going to reply to my message or not So the game was perfect now, it was no one's connection, everyone's connection was fine but it was obvious that he was using a lag switch. Which really annoys me now because Call of Duty is just so glitched at the moment right now with the care pack glitch and boosters and all sorts.
okay, he clearly wasn't going to message me back. There was no way he was going to answer to the message. So I just left the game anyway and decided just to give up there. So just to show you his PSN ID. I know he's never going to listen to any of the messages you send him, so don't even bother sending him messages asking him if he has one. So basically I'm just going to bombard them with a few bits of mail, try to get him to stop using the lag switch, or to at least know that he's been put on YouTube and everyone knows him. So just watch out for him if you see him in a match and there's lag, you know he's using the lag switch and yeah. I know it's kinda silly, I added him as a friend just just to see if he was gonna accept the invite. And if he accepted the invite, it might not mean that he has a lag switch. But even if he did, I wanted just to see if he had one or not and whether he replied to it, but he wasn't gonna reply to any of my messages. He knew it was him with the lag switch, he's not gonna admit to it that easily. So basically that's the video here. Shouldn't waste any more time on it. His PSN ID is sick pits 87 as you can see and he's a lag switcher so watch out for him on watch out for him on online play and he's the first on my named and shamed episodes at all series so basically if you want me to put anyone on the named and shamed series or you want me to watch out for a particular group of people maybe um like boosters just message me on this and comment on this video and then I'll add them to the named and shamed system as well so that everyone on YouTube knows who they are okay so that's it named and shamed